Hey guys, Zach here from Kubota Lynchburg to talk about the difference between a hydrostat and a gear drive tractor. We're going to start with the hydrostatic tractor because on a compact tractor these days that is the most popular option and i'm going to be focusing on the smaller compact tractors for today like the l series anything between you know 20 to 50 horsepower once you get into the giant tractors that's a whole nother ball game but when you're looking at a tractor and a salesperson or the internet gives you an option between a gear drive and a hydrostat what are the big major differences I'm not going to go into the mechanical side, I'm going to show you guys the physical side difference and then we'll talk about pros and cons versus one. A hydrostatic tractor means it's being driven with a hydrostatic transmission rather than a gear drive transmission. What that means is there is less shifting, clutching, and gears to be used on a hydrostat. Um, it's easy to compare to an automatic car versus a you know, an automatic, a, you know manual car. So an automatic you drive, you push the pedal, it goes forward, you let off, it slows down, it stops. With a manual car, they're shifting and clutching. So if we look in here today, if we take a look at the hydrostat, now while this one does have a clutch, it's only used for engaging your PTO, um, but there's no gear shifter, there's no shifting lever knobs here. All you have is a hydrostatic pedal. And this pedal, you can see when I let off of it, it comes back into the center to neutral. So you have forward and you have reverse. Now there are other models here, like John Deere, some of the Kubotas and stuff that'll have the hydrostat pedal side by side. Um, there's different pedal options, but you push harder forward and it goes faster forward. You let off and you push reverse and it goes faster reverse. You don't have to shift or clutch between forward and reverse or through ranges. And if you look here where it says HSD stands for hydrostat, you'll see that there are ranges here, but you don't have to clutch between them. You've got a high, neutral, medium, and low. So on a hydrostat, you choose your range, you put it in there, and then you can sh you know push harder. So you would do low for heavy duty work, you do high for going fast through it. You don't have to think about which range, which gear you're in as you're going on a hydrostat. You just push the pedal and it goes, kind of like a riding lawnmower. So we're gonna hop over to a gear drive tractor real quick. And on this gear drive tractor, now I don't have a hydrostat pedal anymore. I've got my clutch, I've got my brakes, and I have a throttle pedal here that's an accessory to my main throttle pedal. Again, a gear drive is like a manual car. You're gonna be shifting and clutching. So I have my shifter range here, one, two, three, four. And then where that low, medium, high was, I have my forward and reverse, and I have a high and a low range. So if I wanted to go forward on this tractor, for example, I would push the clutch in, I would choose a range, let's say second range, I'd push it in forward, and I'd let off the clutch slowly to engage that. Now let's say I want to slow down, I'm going to have to go ahead and clutch in, shift up to first, and then let off. Or if I want to speed up, maybe I really want to go real fast, I'll shift it into high range, fourth gear, and then you let off the clutch. And this isn't usually done on the go. Usually you slow down, you stop, you choose which range and gear you want to be in, and then you go. A little bit more user intensive, but you actually gain a little bit more power out of it. Um, so real quick, I'm going to show you moving these tractors forward and reverse, just so you guys can get the idea of how one works versus the other. And then we'll talk about pros and cons. All right, so we're going to start with the gear drive here. It needs to be a neutral to start up. So you clutch in. I'm going to put it in like second gear. I'm going to put it in reverse. And as you slowly let off the clutch, oh, I actually need to be in a range. As you slowly let off the clutch, it is slowly going to go. I don't need my feet on the pedals now anymore, and it's just going to keep on going. You clutch in, it stops. You can shift ranges. You can put it into forward. You can put it in reverse however you need to, and you let off the clutch, and it goes. Simple, easy, basic. All the old tractors had this style on it. Now on a hydrostat, it is going to be different. On a hydrostat, you don't have to use that clutch. For example, on this L3902, there isn't even a clutch. This is your brake pedals. You don't have to worry about clutching or moving it or anything like that. You're literally going to throw the zip tie away. You're going to start the tractor. 
You're going to take the parking brake off, and all I'm going to do is push reverse or push forward. There's no shifting, clutching, choosing of gears. The harder I push, the faster I go. The slower I push, the slower I go. Easy on a hydrostat. So what's the best option for you? Which one do you need, hydrostat or gear drive? For most people, I say if you're doing a lot of loader work, especially in tight areas, small areas, you just have a couple of acres, a hydrostat is going to be the most versatile. It's easy to use and learn. Anybody can hop on and run it. You, the wife, the kids, the grandparents, it doesn't matter. Everybody can hop on and run a hydrostat tractor. But you do lose a little bit of power on a hydrostat compared to a gear drive. So if your overall necessity is more power or you're pulling implements like bush hogs, tillers, disc harrows, a gear drive will actually give you a little bit more power for a little bit cheaper price. And if you already are comfortable driving manual cars, you know how to shift and clutch and switch between gears, a gear drive might be the option for you. So mainly loader work on a hydrostat or small property maintenance for those bigger projects or those mostly pulling applications, look into a gear drive. The longevity of one versus the other is really depending on how you use it and maintain it. If you use, maintain, and service your equipment properly, they both have the same lifespan. So just make sure you know what you're doing, learn how to use a hydrostatic gear drive properly, and you'll be good to go. As always, feel free to ask questions in the comments or give us your opinion on which one you prefer.